Hey guys, and welcome to Zabbix Spotlight. Today with me, I have Christina Lamberte, Head of Training at Zabbix. Um, Christina, welcome and tell us a bit about yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Christine Lambert and I work as head of training department and training product owner here at Zabbix. And basically me and my team, together with our partners worldwide, we handle all things related to trainings here. Okay, so all things trainings. Um, can you maybe tell us a bit about who the target audience is for these trainings and what do the trainings actually cover? Okay, so I will split my answer into, two, into three blocks, as I would say, because our, all our trainings are split into three categories. First of all, we have our core trainings, and it's basically a training pass, so it guides you from the very beginnings of using the tool, and not only using the tool, but the first steps in monitoring as such, all the way to becoming an expert in our tool. Um, so, so what you're saying, you mentioned it's not just Zabbix, it's also monitoring. We teach yes. a bit of, not a bit, but we teach both essentially. Yes, of course. We couldn't teach about the tool and not cover the topic of monitoring as uh, such as well. So if I'm a, uh, an engineer, uh, maybe a junior interested in monitoring in general, it still makes sense for me to go to Zabbix courses. Right? Yes, yes, most definitely. And I would even go further and say that it makes sense to come to us first if, if you want to use the Zabbix tool or if you are interested in using any kind of monitoring tool because if you will like spend time learning first only the monitoring you will waste a lot of time by that and then you come to us so you will have to spend a lot more time to learn that monitoring the tool whatsoever and if you come straight to us we give you both of them both of those, those things in one training. In a structured fashion. Of course, yes. only in the structured fashion. Because these core courses, we developed them a long time ago. They have, we have gone through all the latest LTS versions and we adjust them and we all, always hear what our students want, what they need, what kind of questions they have and what kind of real life issues they have. Mm -hmm. So we adjust our core courses accordingly. Mm -hmm. So, and during the courses, I assume there's also sharing of experience and things like that between students and yes. trainers and yes. everyone involved. Of course. Mm -hmm. So, you said three blocks. One of them was core training courses. Yeah. What were the other two? Uh, so, yes, we have the upgrade courses. That's the second block. For example, you are a 5.0 specialist and you understand that you want to be upgraded, want to know all things that are in the latest LTS version of Zabbix. So you come to us, there's one day intensive training, it's six hours for the specialist or eight hours for the professional course. And we get you on board with all the newest things, with all the changes that are in the latest LTS version. So basically in one day you still have to take the exam, so you will once you get a certificate that you pass the exam, it's the same as 6.0 specialist, but you have all these changes in your mind that you know what are the new features of the Zabbix 6.0 at this point. So instead of spending five days, you can spend a day if you already have, a, for example, 5.0 certificate and also receive a certificate of 6.0. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. And uh, the main thing is that we it's rather new course. We introduced it only together with the 6.0 and with all uh, later versions like 7.0 and who knows how many we will still have. We will all, yes, and we will always have this uh, upgrade course that is spe specifically designed for the people who want to quickly get on board. So one day versus five days, yeah, yeah this, this seems a lot more reasonable for people. Yeah, and this especially for people who know the tool very well mm -hmm. and they have already passed the certificates of the latest versions and uh, they understand what the tool can do for them but they want to see what it could do if we if they would upgrade for example as a company mm -hmm. and okay so that's the second sort yes. of type of training that you want to talk about and what's the third type so yeah, the third type. We also have extra courses. Um, they cover different types of topics related to Zabbix. For example, Zabbix API, pre-processing, Zabbix security, and our newest addition to the bunch, the SNMP course. So basically they are designed to cover some very specific, very, uh, I would say, smaller topic, but go in depth. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so once again, even with extra courses, you said SNMP course, and that makes sense not just from Zabbix's perspective, but also from monitoring in general, because SNMP, if you're a network admin, you will encounter it. If you work with any sort of hardware, you will probably encounter yes. it. And I assume the course teaches not just SNMP from Zabbix's perspective, yes. but also overall what it is and how it works. And those are um, one-day courses? Or? Yes, that, those are one-day courses. They are specifically designed for people who want to cover one specific topic, go a little bit further in depth, because most of these topics are also somehow covered in specialist in professional courses, but uh, we don't have so much time to go in depth. Mm -hmm. So that's why we created extra courses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds uh, great. But one thing that probably many people nowadays, especially, the year is 2023 already, um, and what, what people care about nowadays, are these courses available online? Are they available on-prem? Can I choose what I prefer, or how does that work? Yes, of course, like uh, Zabbix tries to offer everything we could that would uh, help our students, our customers, whatever, like get the best possible thing what they want, not what we want, but what our customers mm -hmm. want. So we have a public schedule. In the public schedule, you can find online and on-site options. And as well, we have things like private courses. So you as a company, if you have a larger amount of students, you would like to certificate, mm -hmm. we can schedule a private on, online or on-site session just for you. And uh, you can also become a host of uh, on-site training session if on your company premises. So all these options you can find on our webs web page and uh, apply to whatever fits you the most. Mm -hmm. And um, let's say I'm a, I have my team, I'm a manager, I have my, let's say, NOC team, right? Guys that look at dashboards all day. Maybe they don't configure Zabbix too much. Um, they are just interested in the metrics and in alerts, the problems that appear. It would make sense to me to get in touch with Zabbix and ask, hey, can you conduct a user course, for example, for my NOC team? That's the procedure, how yes. I would do it. Yes, okay. you, can talk to, uh, you can talk to our sales team and they listen to your needs understand what you want, what would be the most beneficial maybe for you. But as you said, in these cases when they will not be configuring the, the Zabbix, okay, it's straightforward. The user mm -hmm. course is the way to go. But in other cases, our sales team are, um, they know the tool and know the services well enough set so they could suggest the yeah. best thing that you need. So if I'm not clear, if I have a mixed bunch of people, um, yes. different skill sets. I'm not sure. Is it specialist? Is it user? Is it, I guess this also applies to one day courses, right? Also, yes. yeah, yes. Is it maybe um, I have mostly SNMP devices and I just need to go through that SNMP training. Our sales guys will be able to, to sort of figure this out for me. Yes, yes. Our sales guy, guys are well informed about everything that is covered all the topics, all the use cases of, uh, of the tool itself, so they can find what fits you the most. Um, okay, and we talked about just now that these courses, they can be different. It's one-day courses, user specialist. Um, generally speaking, is there some sort of a prerequisite, a set of skills or some knowledge that I need to have before I, I attend these trainings, or am I... I'm a regular IT guy with no specific set of skills. Am I good to go? For example, if you apply for the user course, there's no knowledge you should have beforehand. Everything we teach uh, and everything we will show you, we will guide you through it and you will understand everything. It's very basic for people who don't have any knowledge beforehand. For example, specialist course. If you have some basic knowledge of Linux, it's, it's good. But mm -hmm. On the other hand, if you have no knowledge at all or you are a Windows guy, it's still fine because all our trainers uh, have knowledge not only about the, the, the stuff that is covered in the slides, but also they are very technical guys, so they will guide you through and they will uh, answer all your questions and help you with everything. But for professional and for expert, of course, you need to have some knowledge of the tool. You, have, you need to have at least some experience with the tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from, uh, from my experience in courses, I can say that I actually learned quite a bit about Linux during those courses. So it wasn't just Zabbix, it wasn't just monitoring. 
it was sort of sysadmin IT things in general. That was also added benefit. Of course, I think if you're familiar with Linux already, okay, then that's covered for you. Yeah, it will be just easier for you yeah. to go along with it. Yeah, but if not, we'll teach you like sort of the basics of yes. it that are required for Zabbix. Um, all right, and the final question. So nowadays we have tons of materials online. We have YouTube videos, both published by ourselves and our community members, blog posts, same. Some are written by our team, some are written by community members. Anyone can contribute, anyone can write, and naturally, as the tool grows more popular, um, more and more public content is out there. So the question is, why should I pick trainings over that? Yes, that's a good question, actually. Because first of all, I would uh, address that all these free available materials, that's great. Uh, everything that Sabix creates, like you can find information, like, like you can join webinars, uh, you can uh, watch what we have on our YouTube channel, you can read, read the blog posts and everything, and it's very valuable information. It will get you started. But on the other hand, uh, the courses, the way they are built, like these core courses, all this training path, it gives you very concentrated information, very well-structured information in a shorter amount of time. So basically, by the end that you have passed specialist exam, we have no doubt that you can handle the tool. You can do mm -hmm. everything that it requires to. You can solve a lot of issues you may encounter. And it gives you a great start and you don't have to spend so much time looking for materials because, like you said, there's a lot of information out there. But you have to find it and you have to find what works for you. But we have gathered it all for you beforehand mm -hmm. and we just present it to you. But that's just the way, one thing, like this time you, we save you because you don't have to go and find everything. But the second very valuable thing are our trainers. Uh, as some of you may already know, maybe someone doesn't know, all our trainers, they are not only trainers, but they are also support engineers. So on a day-to-day basis, they solve clients' issues, they work on Zabbix every day for their working days. And this gives them insight not only for the training materials and what you need as a student, but also what you need as an admin. So they have this vast amount of experience and if you encounter any problems, or maybe you just, you even go to the training and you have some real life issues, you can go there during the breaks or maybe even during the course, you can ask this question and it, the trainer will most likely be able to help you. And even if he will not be able to give you the correct, like, Mm -hmm. solution right at that point he will tell you where to go and where to look and how to solve it and as you just said you can learn use cases about use cases not only from the trainers but in my experience I see students networking with one another and talking and chatting to one another and sharing their different use cases and oftentimes you see this aha moment when one person in the class is like oh I could use this yes, for my yes. environment right um, and of course also the practical tasks because I don't have any environment at home, for example, right? I don't have a full-on home lab. Practical tasks probably allow me to test all of those things. Yes, yes, and uh, that's the that's great point, actually, these practical tasks. For, from what we see from our students' feedback, uh, this is one of the things that they love the most, that we have practical tasks also. So everything you learn, you get the te theoretical knowledge, and it's, it's uh, followed by practical tasks. And even if you get stuck anywhere, there's always a trainer who is willing to help and he can guide you through the practical tasks. So during the training, you get this hands-on experience yourself. You see how the practical knowledge transforms, transforms into the practical knowledge. You get the feel of the tool. Mm -hmm. Maybe you haven't even used the tool before, so this is your first encounter. And the, the, the way it's built to just help you go through it, just give you a great start to um, become Zabbix expert. That's mm -hmm. why we have this training path, basically. Um, all right, so, and finally, we are, us Zabbix, we are here in Riga, Latvia, right? We also have offices in, in Brazil, in Japan, but what if I'm not in those regions, right? Can, uh, can I receive training some, and I want it on-prem. Yes. And maybe I want it in my language, right? Yeah. Because, okay, English, we obviously know also Latvian because we're from Latvia. 
but what what if it's not Brazilian or or Japanese? Um, how can I go about that then? Well, that's the beauty of Zabbix, I would say. Uh, with the help of our certified training partners with this network, we are coming closer to you in all the places you need. For example, um, we have training partners who are doing on-sites all over the world. We have uh, Dutch partners doing on-sites in the Netherlands. We have Japanese partners doing trainings on-site in Japan. But also they are providing online. So basically, at the moment we have like 25 training partners, if I'm not mistaken, and they are providing trainings in at least 12 languages worldwide. So we have like English, we have Dutch, we have French, you name it. So basically you can see that we have vast amount of languages that we are providing our trainings in. So we are basically coming closer to you in all ways possible. Yeah, so that's great. So that like completely unlocks me because yeah, this, this also relates to the content, right? Most of our videos, not, not the absolute like majority, but a large percentage of it is in English. Yeah. And not everyone speaks English. The larger the language, the larger the community, the higher the chance that they, you know, will speak in their native tongue and English is like, okay, whatever. I know a bit about it, but it would be easier for me to, to get my trainings in, like you said, in French, right? Yes. And yeah, there you, you have that chance on top of all of the benefits that, that you mentioned yes. before. Yes, and uh, the most important thing is that even if you choose to have a uh, training in whatever language that our training partners are providing, it's still the same quality because all the materials and everything we do comes here from Riga, Latvia and is distributed through our training partners. So the quality is there, no doubt in that. It's just provided in the language that suits you the most. All right, um, that sounds great. I think I should update my Zabbix certificate. Speaking of, um, get the latest in. Um, see, see what's uh, see those one-day courses. Um, yes. Go through all of them. I've gone through some of them, not all of them, um, but I should probably check those out. And I suggest you guys do the same. I think you can find the full list on our website, right? Yes, on our website you can find all the information. Everything we offer is always there. There's also the public schedule. Apply to anything, and we will contact you. All right. Thank you a lot, Christina. I think you've sold me on this one, and um, I'll probably. See you during some of our trainings, right? Okay, see you there. See ya.